Okay, we're going to, uh, on our way, we're headed up to Somerville to the, um, I can't remember the name of the resort. We're headed up to Somerville. We're gonna pull in to the, the Blue Beacon truck wash and get the rig wash and get the Jeep wash. Um, it's crazy busy crowded over here. Kind of figured it would be a, a busy crowded day um, because it's such a nice day and it's a Friday. We got a little bit more room here in the, um, Keep left, then take the first right. There we go. We're gonna go Wash over here. Alright. We've used Blue Beacon before. Used it a few times. We've always had good results with it. We like it. Never had an issue. Every time I go to Blue Beacon, I always ask for uh, no brushes and no acid and we'll have the Jeep washed as well and we'll just tell them to wash the Jeep just give it a regular generic wash and I like to get the tires dressed as well but I don't think this Blue Beacon has that option so that will vary from location to location every Blue Beacon is different in terms of what they will uh, than what they can do for your uh, your rig once again, I know some people don't like Blue Beacon. They've had a bad experience. We've never had a bad experience with the Blue Beacon. There have been a few times we went to a Blue Beacon and we got in right away. And in this case, we've been waiting, what, about an hour? Um, I'd say about an hour. Close to that, yeah. yeah. Hey, you talk about the brushes. Right? I will let them know. The car is fine for brushes. You like to do the motorhome and the truck? Correct. Now, what I want, do you guys have any tire dressing by any chance at this yes, location? Sir. You we do. You have tire dressing. Okay. I'm going after the water. Correct. I want to get that done on the RV only. Okay. But I want to make sure I don't get any acid used and any brushes used on the RV. Okay. So on the car, I don't care. Just give it a generic wash. But on the RV, no brushes, no acid. Okay. Yeah, no problem. We don't we don't put acid on any of the RVs or motorhomes here. Cool. Within the blue beacon policy. Cool. So we do the no brightener wash from the motorhomes. Okay. And we were I was gonna ask you if you wanted it brushed, but you said you don't want it brushed. Correct. Um, we do have I know you said you didn't want acid, but we do have citrus shine, which is a polished acid, it's acid from polished wheels. Okay. It keeps it shiny, but okay. it also gets it a little bit more clean than the soap and water. Before. Okay. Would you like to do that on the we'll know for the, yep. the RV? That'll work. Do the no brightener wash on the motorhome. Do the citrus shine on the wheels. And then you said you want the generic wash. We can do the classic wash on the, uh, the Jeep. Jeep. It's a Jeep. Jeep. Yeah. And uh, we can do the aluminum brightener on that. Okay. Do you want the aluminum brightener on the wheels for the Jeep? No, you don't have to do. They're both the same price. Okay. The brightener's free. That's fine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks. What was your name? My name is Jacob. Jacob. All right. Thank you. Okay, so apparently they do not use acid on the RVs and motorhomes. I heard that was a policy of Blue Beacon. He said it was policy. So, but I would also suggest saying something just to make sure. Come on in. Okay, go. for a bath and she hasn't had a wash since when did we wash it last babe um i washed it oh i know uh golf state park
Okay, so we had the truck washed, the Jeep washed, and we're having the tires dressing, some dressing put on the tire. So that came to a total of... $77 and some change. Personally, I think it's worth it because I, you guys know, I'm, I'm not as fanatic as, or is that the right word, fanatic? Or I'm not as adamant Radical adamant about doing a whole washing because it, it, it does take a lot of time you guys know it takes a lot of time and i would prefer to just pay someone to have them come out and do it you know i've done it a couple times and it's an all-day job and truth be told i really don't want to spend all day washing this thing and i'm sorry some of you are going to disagree but for that price i think it's well worth it so all in all all in all i'd say the process took a little over an hour which i guess is not bad so well if you think about it we would have spent a lot more time. Well, actually, you would have spent a lot more time than an hour washing it. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is true. And we only have about an hour drive to the resort. So it all worked out. We did, real quick, a quick story. If you guys didn't see it, one of our videos. We went to a Blue Beacon and the rig was clean. They did a great job. And we were on our way to a harvest host and it was the buffalo or the bison one bison. uh the bison one you guys gotta check out that video fantastic harvest host in order to get there we just went down these and i didn't know that was my fault but we went down these dirt roads and i was like you gotta be kidding me i didn't think about it i didn't put it together and uh should have went to the blue beacon after we did the buffalo bison ranch what was it again bison ranch you know now i'm confused now i'm not sure <laughs> yeah i always get the two confused but it was a fantastic harvest host anyway try to remember that when you know traveling and getting your rig washed your destination anyway we are back on the road headed up to summerfield florida to the sun-kissed village rv resort i got Very it right good. You got all right. right i remembered Anytime you can remember anything, that's a victory. How many years we've been married, Katrina? 33. This summer's 33. No, we ain't there yet. Oh, 32. Technically, it's 32. You see that? Well, I was going to the anniversary, so. Oh, well, that doesn't count. We ain't made it there yet, because you never know. You can find yourself a nice cabana boy, and you're out of here. Whatever. See that smile when I said cabana boy? She smiled. She kind of lit up. I did. 